In today's video, we're going to take a look at the gorge from the Node Red dashboard package. We're going to take a deeper dive into the understanding of the gorge application, and we will see how we can change the look of the gorge on runtime. So, how we can change, for example, from a compass to a level diagram how we can change the maximum and minimum value of the gorge and other applications. For beginners, we will first take a look at the basic functionality of the gorge and then we will go take a deeper dive and we'll check out how to operate the gorge more in depth. If we drag and drop a gorge from the dashboard field on the left side, we can open up its properties and first of all we need to add it to a group currently i have no group created in this project so i will add a new group and assign it second we have here in the, the type section we can select which kind of look this gorge should have in the end Let's say we want, for example, the donut look. Underneath we have a label where we can select how the gorge will be called. We will keep it just as gorge now. We have a value format and we have units which also can be displayed underneath. Here in the range we have a minimum and a maximum value. These values are important and we will take a look at them uh, later, how we can change them and how we can even change them while the program is running. Color gradient is a part of the gorge which looks a certain way when the value is in a certain range. So we can uh, set by setting these sector values, we can set the values of the gorge to different colors. Let's press done now. And of course, since it is a, is a gorge, we need some numbers to be displayed on this gorge. So we will create a inject node in which we're going to inject the number five into the gorge. Now we're going to deploy, inject and switch to the dashboard. As we can see, the gorge is now in this donut format, like we selected. Underneath it says units because we didn't define a unit. Also, uh, we have now the color yellow here because it's in the center. We can, of course, set our own sectors by, let's say we want from zero to one and from one to four and from four to ten we want different sectors so when we inject now five we will have a red gorge because the upper level is from four to ten and now our value is five so we are already in the red section of course we can also change these colors now that we have a basic understanding of the gorge we're going to take a look on how we can fine adjust these settings while the program is running. So you don't need to open up the node red and change like for example the range. If you have the same gorge for different ranges of values or if you want to change the color gradient and sectors during the program is running like let's say for example you want to uh, adjust the sectors so they display the status of a heater, for example, you can do this by using the link which we provided down below in the description. In the description, you will find a link to GitHub and to this documentation, which defines how we can use the msg.ui underscore control to control properties of a gorge. Underneath we find different items like button charts and so on. What we are searching for is the gorge. And as we can see here, we have multiple different options 
to define more specifically what the chord should look like. We have G type, we have a minimum, we have segment one, segment two, maximum, colors and options. We are going to limit to a few types now. We are not going to go through all. Of course, you can use whatever you like from this here. Let's say we want, for example, to change the type of the gorge from donut to a compass or wave during the operation. So let's program our function so we can do that. We will switch back to node red and now we will need a function in between. I've put the function now, double click on it and we will start by overwriting the whole message object. So msg equals and now object notation and now we need to select or create this object ui underscore control and this is uh, of course another object and in this sub, sub object we need now this value g type so g type and here we can make dot and we can say for example compass also, we want to forward the incoming message.payload with the 5 to the output. So we make payload equals, and we have to get it here. So we make const uh, value equals msg.payload. And we will forward this value. We take the msg.payload, we save it. And then we overwrite the whole MSG object and we copy the value back into the payload. So the, the gauge actually receives also our value of five. So if we inject now and switch back to the dashboard, we can see the layout of the gauge has changed and we have now a compass. Let's try different uh, values, let's try the minimum and maximum also. So we go back into the fun function, make comma under UI control, min, and here now we have a minimum, of course, if we go here, we can also change it, but it will only be static, so you can only change it back when you actually open the uh, the, the node, node red backend. So now we're going to change this value min to minus 10. Minus 10. And we're going to change the max to 100. Now we leave for now the 5 and we will change the gorge to a Let's say we change it to a gauge like this, inject. And now we see we have minus 10 here, we have 100 here and the whole, the whole gauge worked as planned. Now you can enter whatever you want and you can adjust these settings. We will take a look at one more, a bit more complicated, which is the colors. As you can see here is the notation. Uh, it will be an array. So the colors refer to which colors are in this, in this uh, gradient scheme. So in this uh, level limits. We can pre-select colors here, but we can also tell the program what colors it should use. We will do that now and we will adjust so the colors are blue and let's say red and green. We can do it by going back here in the function, making comma and now we say we need to check here colors. So we have to call it colors dot and this now will be an array. So you need to use the array notation like this. And this array needs to have three different colors. We want it blue, red, and green. 
let's check if this works that way by inserting a value and we see now the green part is over here and if we change the value to let's say we have a maximum of 100 so let's say 90 it stays green because we have a really small this is now our se uh, se sector so we need to adjust this as well because they are still from 1 to 4 because of that it's still green so now we can go back to the documentation and we see here sec1 and sec2 by passing these options we can change our segments so we make here sec one and we make sec two and we need to make sensible choices so the sec let's say sec zero so over here it's always the lowest and then it goes up until the highest so the outer ones are already selected we have minus 10 to 100 so let's say we want the first segment to be at green is the highest so we want the first segment to be from 1 to 10 and you want the second segment be to be from 10 to let's say 60 and that's it now we change this to 50 We switch back and we see the color is now accordingly because our color scheme is blue, red, green. So the lowest is blue, the lowest is from minus 10 to 10. So if we pause, for example, minus 1, we will see that the gauge will get blue in this part. Of course, you can look through all the options yourself and see how they all work and get a deeper understanding. If you have any questions, we are looking forward to your comments. Thank you for watching.